Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and today we will discuss about integral in zero exponents. So today we will go first to the preview of what is an exponent. So we know that exponent is like the yeah like the upper number on the from a number so it, it is like this right so a raised to let's say n okay so that is the exponent right and this is the base of the number so let's have some examples here so okay so for example we have 2 raised to 2 or 2 squared or 2 raised to the power of 2 that is equal to 4 because we know that 2 raised to 2 is just equal to 2 times 2 another example is 3 raised to 3 Okay, so okay, so here's the tip. So when when um whenever you um make um, write expanded form, so okay, so we have three, right? So three. So we will write three three times because it says here three. So three times three. So we have two trees now. So another three. So that is 3 raised to 3. So that is 3 times 3 times 3. And if we would just simplify it. So that, okay, so 81 times 3, that is equal to, okay, bring out your calculator if you want to. It's equal to 243. Okay. So anyway, so we're done on the preview. So let's go to the lesson proper. So let's go to, to some properties okay so we have the first property which is called yeah yeah the basic property I'm just gonna call it the basic exponent property okay so okay I'm, yeah whatever so we have okay. okay I already explained you this one but okay let, let's just explain it I will just explain it further so okay so we have a raised to n so that is just equal to a times okay it looks like 9 wow it looks like 9 times a okay I'm just gonna put the dot 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 Okay. Okay, so n here can be any number. So okay, I'm gonna put this and I will just say n times. So n times. Okay, so so whenever we, so this property is actually the basic one. So so you write a n times and multiply them each other so so same as like 2 raised to 2 or yes yung example kanina so we will write 2 2 times so 1 2 so ito yung big sabihin ng property na to so the next property would be okay but before that just follow the analogy that is basically the analogy of the yeah of this one and this so this the second one would be the zero exponent. Okay. And after that we would just some solve some examples. So the examples would be some most of them are not really algebra, but more on like numbers na siya. Eh, we would just solve a few algebraic um, expressions that has exponent. That have exponents, okay? So and this one we will okay so this is the zero exponent property okay so we have a raised to zero and we know that is equal to one okay question do you wonder why why a raised to zero is equal to one well here's the explanation so suppose you have Okay, so you have a. Okay, so yeah, let's say we have 
a divided by a we know that a divided by a is equal to 1 right so imagine we know that there's an invisible one here so actually um okay this is the sneak peek of the other property of the exponent so the trick will be the trick here would be like this so it is like okay so since you're dividing a that has the same exponent so basically you just um subtract the exponents yeah you're just gonna need to subtract them both so one minus one so pag minus mo sila dalawa, that would be equal to zero. So, na get na, bakit a raised to zero is equal to one, right? Because, kung mag-refer ka dito. Okay. That's the reference. Diyan ang galing ang zero exponent property. Okay. Simple lang. Ganun lang yun siya, guys. So, Okay, so the last property would be for now is the the negative exp exponent property. So Okay, so every for every number with a negative exponent that is just equal to okay, I'm going to write it first. Let's say negative um n that is just equal to to a fraction like this and k then I will just copy this then remove the negative sign and that's it that is the negative exponent property so okay let me explain this why it is like that so Suppose you have, um, okay, we will just use the, the okay, so I already showed you the other property which is about um, adding and subtracting exponents, but it's a video na lang to, I'm just gonna give you the sneak peek, so, okay, but, but before I will explain that, or uh, I explain ko na lang, and, okay, so suppose you have a, um, n, Okay, let's say we, we have a squared. Okay. I think para na lesson nyo to. Hindi ko alam kung na lesson nyo to, kung ma-remember nyo to. This is just like the... This is just like a refresher course, I guess. Um, okay, so we have a... I hope ma-remember nyo to. So, okay. So, we have a raised to 2 min, um, divided by a raised to 3. So... Obviously, so if we just expand this, okay, so obviously if we just expand this, okay, I'm just going to copy A here, and, okay, A, okay, okay, so we will okay so expand expand okay and here is three okay so obviously all we're gonna do is we will just cancel this right so ito na lang may one so obviously ito na lang may one si yung a na lang sa baba okay okay let's go to the let's go to the point so Okay, when it comes to exponents, we know that when we divide numbers to exponents, we subtract exponent, right? Exponents, right? So, basically, um, that is just equal to a... So, a... Minus 2... I wait, a 2 minus 3. A raised to 2 minus 3. Okay, so, 2 minus 3, that is equal to negative 1. Okay, this equal to negative one, which it makes sense that, yeah. Oops, I just reversed the color. Just wait for the moment. So that is, yeah. So the 
it makes absolute sense why when negative when the exponent is negative it will become like this so this is the example so i hope this is clear for you so let's solve some examples shall we can we solve some examples i think so um how do we do this wait just for a moment raised to zero and we have a raised to negative two so oh gaps okay so okay so first we will do the, we will do the five raised to two okay so five raised to two just equal to five times five okay so we will just do some base basics though pwede kayo agad masyak kasi really hate the idea na like like madali lang sana yung lesson ninyo tapos pagka uh, exercises parang agad nag you know parang agad lum lumaki ang mundo ninyo so hindi dapat ganun so let us take it slowly so, 5 times 5 is equal to 25 okay so okay since it is inside the quantity we should um, subtract this first so 6 minus 3 that is equal to 3 right and zero okay so so this is the simplified form and three raised to zero we know that is okay what is the property when okay what is the rule when the exponent is zero obviously it become one because it's just equal to three divided by three okay so three divided by three that's equal to one then onion share okay here obviously we just we just reverse the order so it become like this because and because the exponent is negative that is the negative exponent property yes okay so i hope you enjoyed the video guys and if you want the video like this subscribe and hit the bell button and like this video and share this to your friends so that if if this is their weakness, you may share it to them. And this is the new perspective in mathematics. So when I teach when I teach mathematics, it is not necessarily need to be rigid, but rather it should be interesting for you, all of you guys. So so this is the end of the video and and good luck guys sa mga online classes niyo and hanggang dito lang Josh. Bye bye. And by the way, um, I have a new partner in my channel. His name is Mark, and in his in his first video, he will discuss about amortization, yeah, something in accounting, something like that. And Mark will talk more talk more about general mathematics, as we agree with. And yes, so at least my partner na ako dito sa channel ko. And hanggang dito lang, Josh. Bye bye.